Pokemon gives every appearance of being a child-friendly video game. It involves adorable, fictional creatures that players can collect and the battle scenes are far from violent. All in all, Pokemon seems to be a cute, easy-going game. But what lurks below the surface? Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to The Gamer and ring the bell to stay up to date with all things gaming. Here are 10 creepy Pokemon fan theories that change everything. Number 1. Ditto According to the Mewtwo origin stories, Mewtwo is a result of some kind of cloning experiment. As any good scientist knows, for every successful experiment, there are several failed experiments left by the wayside. Some fans are certain that Ditto's origin stems back to the failed Mewtwo experiments. Ditto and Mew, who was the original subject, have quite a bit in common as well. They're both similar in color, and Ditto can be found in the burned-down mansion on Cinnabar Island, while journals documenting the experiment can also be found there. They're also the only Pokémon that can transform naturally and learn any attack. On the less creepy side, Ditto doesn't seem mad about being a scientific abomination. Number 2. Medical Bills Ah, the life of a neglected, transient child. They spend their days traversing the regions in search of tiny animals that they can capture and force into combat in order to win gym badges. What happens when these Pokémon end up injured or ill? Well, you take them to a Pokémon Center, of course. But who pays for a visit to the Pokémon Center? Vet bills aren't cheap. Do Pokémon regions have socialized Pokémon healthcare? Hopefully, because the only other answer is that trainers' mothers are getting stuck with a massive Pokémon Center bill. Number 3. Coughing and Wheezing Let's face it, the fact that Team Rocket even managed to get themselves any Pokémon at all is somewhat impressive. While coughing is not exactly the cream of the crop when it comes to Pokémon, he's not exactly terrible either. However, a fan theory presents that coughing is just the result of a failed experiment by Team Rocket. While attempting to genetically engineer a ghost and poison Pokémon, they messed up, as Team Rocket often does, and coughing and wheezing were the results of their poor experiment. Number 4. Cubone's Mother some players believe that Cubone was originally supposed to evolve into Marowak and then evolve into Kangaskhan. Kinda makes sense, right? They do, after all, look similar in appearance. Although baby Kangaskhan look a lot different from Cubone. Then there's a the little issue of Cubone's skull, which is the skull of its dead mother, according to a few Pokedex entries. That skull looks an awful lot like a Kangaskhan head. Don't buy into the theory. Apparently, Cubone was originally going to be called Orphan. One fan theory states that only orphaned Kangaskhan babies were supposed to turn into Cubones. Number 5. The Pokémon War In the Pokémon universe, there seem to be a lot of children, women, and elderly people. There's a noticeable absence of middle-aged men around the various regions in-game as well. More importantly, there are a ton of children without fathers. Aside from gym leaders, there's an apparent lack of middle-aged people. One fan theory explains that the lack of adults stems from a war in the Kanto region. In fact, Lieutenant Surge, gym leader in Vermilion City, has explained that Electric-type Pokémon saved him during the war. Which war exactly is never mentioned. This is a big theory. We might just do a video on this in the future. Stay tuned and find out. Number 6. Digimon During the rise of the Pokémon franchise, there were a lot of Pokémon lookalikes on the market. Some may even go as far as saying that there were a lot of Pokémon rip-offs on the market. One such series was Digimon. Digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Whew, catchy. Nearly like DuckTales. Woo! Since both franchises were so similar, some fans theorized that Digimon were nothing more than glitched-out version of Pokémon. The entire theory stems from the fact that Pokémon can be digitized. Think about it. They can be stored on computers and shipped around in cyberspace. Number 7. Ash's Coma this theory relies heavily on the cliché, it was all a dream plotline used so often by 90s television shows that jump the shark. So it's no surprise that some fans would rely on this as a way to explain away the unusual existence of Pokémon. Or for that matter, the fact that Ash has been 10 for, what, like 20 years now? According to some fans, in an early episode of the animated series, Ash is struck by lightning while riding his bike. Said lightning strike put Ash into a coma, and everything occurring in the series is actually the coma dreams of a child. Number 8. Missing No Missing No is a glitch Pokémon first found in Pokémon Red, Green, and Blue. Most fans believe that Missing No was a Pokémon that simply didn't work out for developers. The developers insist that if players are seeing a glitched-out Pokémon, they need to delete their game in order to fix the game's graphics. 
Anyway, the theory behind Missing No's creepy glitched out appearance is that Missing No is a legitimate Pokemon of some sort. It's just that the poor creature was left in a Pokeball for too long and its data has become corrupt. Number 9. Death in Pokemon The Pokemon franchise has a strange relationship with death. As most players know, Pokemon are more likely to faint than die during a battle. While Pokemon can die, their lifespan is a mystery. Overall, death is somewhat glossed over in the series and it leaves fans with a lot of questions. Then there are ghost-type Pokemon, some of which remember their past lives, meaning that they absolutely were alive at some point. For the most part, they're not too terrifying unless you're considering the fact that Duskull likes to kidnap disobedient children and is the personification of the Grim Reaper. Yeah, kids game. Number 10. Lavender Town Syndrome Alright, so everyone knows that Lavender Town Syndrome comes from a fictional creepypasta stating that the song in Lavender Town was so terrifying that there was a spike in suicides upon the release of the game. But that's just the story, right? Well, a lot of fans have said that the Lavender Town song makes them feel uncomfortable, and there might be some weight to that. Apparently, the Lavender Town song has some binaural frequencies which are said to influence brainwaves. Even without the song, Lavender Town is downright creepy. But why would developers want to include such a strange song? So which creepy Pokemon theory is your favorite and why? Are there any theories we should have included on this list? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer so you can keep up with all of our videos. Thanks for watching.